Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this little goldfish toy. Okay, so all you need is some cotton yarn in any colour, a yarn needle, some scissors, a 3mm crochet hook and some stuffing. Okay, to start you want to make a slip knot. Chain two. One, two. You're going to go into the first stitch, the first chain, and make six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Pull the yarn tight. All right, and the next row you just want to single crochet six around. So one. Two, three, four, five, six. Alright, in the next row, you want to increase from 6 single crochets to 12. So, 2 single crochets in each stitch. 1 and 2. One and 2. One, two, one, two, one, two, Right, so once you've got 12 single crochets, you want to just single crochet 12 around. So one in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, now you want to go from twelve single crochets increase to eighteen. So one single crochet in the first stitch. And two single crochets in the next. One single crochet. And two single crochets in the next stitch. One. And two. One. And two. One, 
Okay. Okay, now that you have 18 around, you just want to single crochet 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18. Right, so now you want to go from 18 single crochets up to 24. So single crochet one in the first stitch, one in the second stitch, and two in the third stitch. Okay. One. One and two in the third stitch. Okay, so once you've increased the 24 stitches around, you just want to make eight rows of 24. So just one single crochet in each stitch around. Um, if you want, you can change colors. So just undo that last stitch. Right, so you just yeah. so on that last stitch go through pull through the yellow and then change colors. Pull through the orange. And then you can just single crochet a row of orange if you want, or just all one color. Like that. And just knot the two yarn ends together if you want to. You don't have to do two different colors. Okay, so I'm going to do my eight rows. And I'll come back. Okay, so now that I've done my eight rows, it looks like this, and I just knotted the two orange ends together. So now you want to go from 24 stitches down to 18. So one single crochet, one single crochet in the next one, and then one decrease. So go through the front loop of that stitch, the front loop of the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Right. Looks like that. Okay, so it's two single crochets and one decrease all the way around. Okay, 
Okay, now that I've decreased to 18, I'm just going to stuff it a little bit. Right, and we're going to decrease from 18 down to 12. So. Oh, one single crochet. And one decrease. One single crochet. And one decrease. Okay, so once you've decreased to 12 stitches around and you've added any extra stuffing that you need or catnip, if this is a cat toy, you want to squeeze the two sides together and you want to slip stitch each one across. So Go into the next one and then go into that one there. Yarn over, pull through both loops and the last loop. Okay, go through that stitch and stitch across from it. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to do the tail, which can be a bit difficult. So chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Skip the first one and single crochet in the second one. And just do one in each. chain all the way down two three four You can just make a tail separately and then stitch it on later. All right. And then turn and go back. Oh, go back into there, into that last slip stitch. And just slip stitch again. Okay. Now all those single crochets are on the inside. So chain one. Turn it again. And I want to work and the back loops of each stitch so there's a front loop so 
the back one. And just single crochet. Okay, so go through the top. So that's a stitch there. Go through the top of the stitch. And single crochet. There's two, three. Four. Oh my god. Five. Six. And seven. Alright, so leave those last two. Don't stitch into those. Chain one. Okay, skip two, so skip, so that's the chain, skip one and two, go into that next one, and then back loop only, single crochet down, so that's one, two, Three, four, five. Okay, you can see all the front loops there. And then go into the next where you the next slip stitch. Pull through and slip stitch again. Okay, chain one and turn, go into the back of the stitches again, one, two, three, four, chain one, Turn, one, two, Three, and then slip stitch it back into the last one that you've already slip stitched into. Then go into the center one. Slip stitch. Okay, chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip that last one. Single crochet. One. Two. Three, all right, go back into the same, the same place you sit, slip stitched, slip stitch again, chain one, turn.
and then working in the back loops one two three chain three one two three okay and you want a single crochet so skip one single crochet into the next one one single crochet into the next one right and then single crochet into the back loops of those three that you just made one three All right slip stitch to the next one just in there chain one and turn okay single crochet one two three four Five, all in the back loop, chain three, two, three, skip, oh. skip one, single crochet into the next one, And the next one and then in the back loops of the stitches you just made one two three four And then slip stitch into this last one here. Right. It's pretty fiddly. But. All right, chain one. Cut. And you just want to go and hide the yarn tail and the toy Right, so the only thing left to do is to make is to make the eyes. You don't have to though. I 
Okay, so I'm going to make the eyes into a triangle. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to come out here. Right, I'll leave that there. I'm going to go down to the next stitch and then up the one in the front. Okay, and then go back through this one and then back through the front one back through this one You can do them any way you want, or you can just not add them at all. But this is the way I do it. I just keep going until I can't see the yellow anymore. And then I go over to the next side. Probably there. And I do the exact same on that side. Okay, so once you've done the second eye, you just bring the two yarn tails together, knot them off, and hide the yarn ends. Yeah, I hope that was easy to understand. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.